When you run out onto the pitch with that white shirt on and the red rose and you hear that crowd roar, especially when you're at Twickenham, it makes you feel 10 foot tall. Underwood, lovely pick up. First chance for him. What a moment for the 20-year-old Rory Underwood. My first try against France is one of my favourite tries because it was my first try for England. My third try against Argentina to get my first hat-trick. My fifth try against Fiji to get five tries in the game, which is, I think, still a joint record. Rory Underwood's fifth try for England. Being England's record try scorer is something I'm very proud of, but I recognise that it wasn't just because of me. I can only score those tries if the rest of the team do what they can do as individuals, but as collective as a team. My rugby journey in some way started at school. The first person who had a real influence on in my career was John Oates, who was the PE teacher, who made that first suggestion. Was a very big friend after I left school and was always somebody I could go to and, and mentor in my early stages of playing rugby. First came across Rory, it must have been the late 70s, early 80s, when I joined the school looking after the sport. First impression is, uh, wow, he's quick, wow, he's balanced, wow, he can catch the ball and wow, nobody can catch him. What a character, what a player. Three main things that stuck out about him. First of all, the strength of the family, a really strong family bond. Mum from Kuala Lumpur, father from Middlesbrough, very humble, very articulate and very hard working. Secondly, the character. Now the school here is based upon building characters and Rory is one of them. And the third thing was his absolute fantastic physical ability. During his time with England, some of the British athletics people tested him and came back as one of the people who could have really made it as a decathlete. So what a fantastic athlete he was. As time went on, you could see the development of him into a team player, but also somebody who could devastate, beat defences. He could score tries from anywhere. An incredible athlete. What a brace of tries by the flying officer. Sometimes one of the things that surprises me about my whole career of playing rugby is that during the whole of my career, it was an amateur game. So during that period I was playing at Twickenham, I've got my 85 caps for England. I was doing that as an amateur and I had a day job. And there's still people that didn't realise that I was a pilot in the Royal Air Force. And so I flew tornadoes, cameras and hawks during my time. I was in the Air Force for 18 years during the whole of my rugby career. Singing the national anthem at Twickenham before the game, the emotions were obviously high. You know, when you run out of the tunnel, you go up the, the two, three steps onto the turf at Twickenham as it was in those days, and you emerge and the, the crowd goes up. It's one of the best things I've done in my life. Wherever I go in the world, people always ask me, how's my mum? Obviously, she was picked out in the stand at Twickenham virtually every time by grandstand, seeing her two boys running around on the pitch at Twickenham. She was immensely proud mum. But for myself and Tony, it was like us playing on the garden back at home. We were just playing together in the same team. To be able to run out at Twickenham with a white shirt on the red rose together as brothers was, was a fantastic experience. Rory Underwood got piles through and scores. Without a doubt, rugby has made me into the man I am now. Go to any rugby club around the world and you just say you play rugby and they will welcome you with open arms. We are very proud of what rugby is all about, what it means all around the world, whoever you are. And as far as I'm concerned, anybody who wants to get involved in the game of rugby, please dive in wholeheartedly because you will get more out of it. Underwood's in. My wildest dreams were running around and playing rugby with mates. Did I ever think that I would play in uh, three World Cups, be leading try scorer, have 85 caps? No, not in my wildest dreams. When I started playing for England, it was a white shirt, nothing else, but the number and the red rose. So it's at its purest. And being able to play for England 85 times has been an absolute honour and uh, one I remember forever. <laughs>